Hello folks. In today's video, we are going to see how to install and configure CloudWatch agent into your EC2 machines. There are a couple of prerequisites. The first prerequisite is to have an IAM role. I have created an IAM role called as CW agent metrics roles. And these are the two permissions that are required. One is EC2 role for SSM. Another one is CloudWatch agent server policy. Create a role and also create a server which will use this role as well. So here you can see here I have an EC2 instance which is called as CW agent and here I have attached that role that we have created. So let us go ahead and log into this instance and start configuring it or install it and configure it with the CloudWatch Unified Agent. Here I am in my EC2 instance. I'm going to download it by using the WH package. I'm going to put this URL in my uh, description field so that you can go ahead and pick it up from there. The location doesn't change. Amazon keeps updating the latest versions there. And I'm going to un unzip that package. And once the unzip is successfully completed, I'm going to install that package. So Amazon installs CloudWatch in this location that is OPT, AWS, Amazon, CloudWatch agent. And if you go under bin location, you will have quite a lot of files that can help us to configure it. So here you can see here there is a config wizard that is what we are going to use to configure. So once I execute it, it is asking me whether I want to run it on a Linux or a Windows machine. I'm going to choose Linux and whether it is on premise or on the cloud, I'm going to say cloud. Do I want to host matrices? Yes. And do I want to have CPU matrices? I'm going to say yes. Do you want all the dimensions, instance, instance ID, instance type? Yes, I'm going to say everything in the world. I'm going to say uh, what intervals I want to measure. I'm going to say every 10 seconds I want to measure, measure my server, what is happening in my server. So I want a really detailed levels of matrices. I'm going to say three there. And it is asking me I'm happy with the configuration. Yes, I'm good with this. And do I want to migrate something? No, I don't have any migration requests. So what are the logs that I want to monitor? So I'm going to say, yes, I would like to monitor my var log messages and say, yes, I'm going to say yes to that. Do I have any other logs? I'm going to say no to that. And do I want to store it in the parameter store? Usually people put it into a parameter store so an entire application group can have a common group settings that we just now created. In this case, we are setting up only one machine. So I'm going to choose two to that. And now this file has been created. If I go here, I can see a new file called as config and I'm just going to open it so we can put that into a new namespace. So you see here there is an matrices and I'm just going to say I'm going to add a new field here. I'm going to call it as namespace and then I'm just going to give it a new name as well. I'm just going to call it extended matrices. I'm just going to make sure the syntax is valid. Everything appears fine. So I'm just going to save this file. And now let us go ahead and configure it. Before configuring it, we want to make sure the CloudWatch agent is in stopped state. I'm just going to check that. We're going to say that the way to check it out is hyphen M EC2 and then hyphen A status. So I'm just going to confirm that in case you, if your uh, agent is start started by any reason, you can go ahead and stop it by using this command. Let us go ahead and confirm that. So we need to configure it. So the best way to do that is hyphen CTL. And I'm going to say it is a cloud version. So EC2 and we are going to fetch the configuration. So hyphen A fetch config and from which file I'm going to say the file is located here itself and I'm just going to start it silently. So if everything is good, you will see the success message and that means that CloudWatch has picked up your configuration file and started running it. Uh, so if I go ahead and put the status command now, you can see here it is running. So if we go back to our uh, dashboard, we should be able to see the matrices happening there. This is how you install and configure CloudWatch a unified agent in your EC2 instance. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use those custom matrices, create some charts and create some alarms using them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.